Eat yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Marvel Rising panel. How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one that matters. Yeah, there's a bigger one happening later. We're gonna talk about that too, but this is the one that matters. So, um, the trailer that you just saw is for the amazing Marvel Rising Secret Warriors basically movie. And if you haven't watched it, I don't know why you're here. Why are you here? Because of Tyler. <laughs> That, that young man back there is <laughs> playing <laughs> is Tyler Garcia Posey. How are you? That's my middle name, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Latinos, woo! <laughs> He's playing Inferno, otherwise known as Dante Pertruz. We also have Milana Von Hi. Yeah, yeah. And she's oh, playing hey Doreen Green, Squirrel Girl. Woo. Ever heard of her? Woo and anybody ever heard of Miss Marvel? Yeah. Well, Kamala Khan is with us today, being played by Catherine Kavari. Yes, you and Megan! Woo! Oh, wow, yes, you! <laughs> and last but not least, he doesn't know this, but Elijah Bradley is actually my favorite character. It's Khalil McFadden. How you doing? Good, how about you? <laughs> Great. Welcome to the Sci-Fi Wire stage. Let's just jump in. I gotta ask you, Catherine, you played this character before in yes. another Marvel animated show. Yeah. So what was it like reprising that role and hanging out with this cast? Or did you have to record everything solo? No, we actually, we did get to record a lot of our stuff together. It was super fun. Every time they asked me to do Kamala, I'm always excited and ready to do it. I love her. I think she's a great character and I really, really relate to her in a lot of ways. So when, you know, they're like, we're gonna do this thing, I was like, cool. Count me in. And this time, you know, we get to see a little bit more of her background and where she's from. And she's got this great story arc and a really wonderful relationship with Squirrel Girl. And so it was, it was a blast. Let's talk about that relationship a little bit. Not only Let's are Let's talk you... about our relationship. Yes, let's. So when are y'all getting married? <laughs> I wish. If only. So you're really the group's hype girl. Like, Squirrel Girl's just like so excited and so yeah. happy about everything. Even yeah, when Kamala's she's Beyonce, down. I'm Jay-Z. <laughs> He's pretty much Thank her you. hype man at this point, right? <laughs> Thank you. But what drew you to do this project? I love Doreen Green. I mean, her optimism and her joy for life. But really, she's so funny. And I will take opportunities to be funny whenever I can. So uh, it was a dream. It's wonderful. Tyler, how did you react when you found out you were going to be in this animated series? I freaked out! Yeah, he cried. Uh, everyone's a fan of Marvel. Uh, I, I, I know that ever since Marvel really started doing a lot of stuff, I've always wanted to be a part of the family. Uh, I loved my character. He's really cool. I love playing the kind of, like, troubled teen who's also got powers and has the potential to become a hero. Uh, and I love taking the lead of some very powerful, beautiful ladies. And, and that, it's really interesting, too, because you mentioned Dante's kind of, like, got some issues. It's like he's got his powers, but he doesn't really want them. Exactly, yeah. He's kind of fighting that having these powers. He doesn't want them. It's kind of messed things up in the past for him. Uh, so he's got a big learning curve to kind of become sort of uh, a hero, you know? So, but he'll get there, I hope. He will, he will. Come on, Dante. Now, Patriot. What? Yes. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. So what was it like for you knowing that you were going to play a superhero? Like you were in the Marvel wiki. It was incredible. Uh, it's a dream come true. You know, who doesn't say as a kid, uh, when I grew up, I want to be a superhero, you know? So like to actually be a superhero and uh, to be a character that people could take lessons from and, and learn and be better, uh, it's, it, it's full circle. Now, had you heard of Elijah Bradley before, before this? Uh, no, I hadn't. No, a lot of people haven't. That's why I was saying, like, he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, like, yeah. his legacy, if anybody ever gets to read Truth, <laughs> yeah. get your hand, yes, get your hands on Truth. <laughs> his, Elijah Bradley and, and his whole family story is fascinating. Yeah, yeah. So, where are we going with this movie, and are we going to get these series? Well, the movie came out last <laughs> week, yeah, so yeah. you guys can all yeah, watch yeah. it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot more in the Marvel warrior world for us. Um, but you'll see. 
<laughs> we that hope means she so. can't tell me. Don't I'm trying, us. guys. I'm trying. No, really, oh, at any moment, they'll just send a dart through my That's head. That's what I'm saying. She's, the Marvel snipers <laughs> are real. Uh oh, yeah. she, it happened. Oh, no. I'm just, I'm just practicing. <laughs> and she didn't even say anything. You got it done. <laughs> Who's a comic book reader up here? What's that? Who's a comic book reader up here? I'm a comic book yeah. reader. Yeah. Were you were you totally like reading all about your character before you got up, got yeah. into this? Yes. Yeah. Did you did they give you rules like in terms of how you should play the character? Or were you able to bring to them? Because a lot of the lines sound very ad lib. I think that's a testament to the writing. Yeah. The writing is really good, and it does kind of sound like how we talk, which is helpful because it makes it easier to act. And in terms of guidelines, I feel like we all pretty naturally stepped. Of course, we're directed, and we have a great director who tweaks our performances. But I think a lot of us embody these characters pretty naturally. Yeah, it came very instinctual when I saw Ms. Marvel's lines. It kind of it, she 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 talks the way I talk too. So. And her excitement is my excitement, so. And how does it feel when you see people dressed as your characters? Extremely exciting! Take off my clothes! <laughs> no, wait, don't do that. This is Take live. Don't, don't do that. So I want to I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with us here. Yeah. They really do have another panel. If you want to see this entire crew and all of the Marvel Rising team, you've got to, at 6.45, Write it down, 6.45, go to 1A06, okay? That room is the Marvel panel. And don't go anywhere, because if you like Deadly Class, up next is the full cast interview, all right? Yeah, stick around. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye. I'm Jackie Jennings with Sci-Fi Wire. If you can't get enough of New York Comic Con, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel for news, interviews, cosplay, and so much more. What are you waiting for?